Needham will receive a total of $9,200,000 from the American Rescue Plan Act funds and has already received about $1,600,000. How to use the funds is an ongoing discussion among town officials. Municipal producer Yu Xiaohuan takes a look at some options they're considering. The current funding proposal includes allocations in four areas, COVID-19 direct impact, technology improvement, economic development, and water, sewer, and drains infrastructure. The intent behind these funds is to help um, offset the negative impact from the pandemic. So it's not as though funds can be used for whatever they'd like to. Some funds will be spent directly on battling COVID-19, such as hiring contact tracers, epidemiologists, public health nurses, and other healthcare professionals. Some will be used to provide technological support for hybrid meetings and remote workspaces. Others will help revive the local economy, including the $300,000 funding for the Small Business Recovery Grant Program. The select board also approved a $20,000 allocation to install two public art murals in town, which intends to support the local artists who have been underemployed since the pandemic. Allowing the ARPA funds to be able to um, go back to some of these artists who have you know, been hit really hard and have been under you know, unemployed throughout the pandemic and allowing them to you know, reap the benefits of this while also having a project that's going to benefit the community overall with public art is, is pretty awesome. At the select board meeting on Tuesday, January 11th, Needham Public School Superintendent Dan Goodekunst asked the board to approve $230,000 for purchasing COVID-19 at-home testing kits for staff and students. We want to put these tests into the hands of staff and families for at least four reasons. Provide them with a health resource that is increasingly scarce. Strengthen our prevention efforts in the schools. Aid in the identification of positive cases and finally build confidence during a time of uncertainty and when frankly many families feel that things are out of their control. We want to put, if you will, the solution into the hands of, of people who can take action with it. Earlier that day, Governor Charlie Baker announced the state has ordered 26 million rapid tests to be distributed over the next three months, with a focus on providing them to K-12 schools and childcare facilities. The select board approved Dr. Gudekan's request, but noted the funds can be subject to modification depending on how many and how soon the state supplies arrive. Needham Youth and Family Services requested their upper allocation to fund mental health staff and programs to match the increasing service demand due to the pandemic. Crisis costs doubled between March 2020 and March 2021 compared to previous years. I would say the biggest thing is there's an increase in acuity in clients and new referrals. So oftentimes, September, October, we're seeing a lot more referrals than we had in, during the school year. Um, it's a time when students are getting back to school, there's increased anxiety, new adjustments. We're seeing a tremendous increase in this than we've never seen before. And the acuity of calls that are coming in is also um, very significant. So we're seeing a lot more suicidal ideation, a lot more depression, and at a rate that we can't manage. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.